Hello there everyone, so as expected, let's go into taking on a lot of these smaller units. Most of them I don't even need to check what they have, it's just Archer Fire. Okay, hang on, there's uh, someone at the door. As I said, it's not for me. <laughs> Interesting. So, oh, I could have waited. This fog doesn't help. But alright, I guess. Let me just deploy these guys here. There we go. I'm going to select all of them. Make sure they don't have that. Okay, these guys are now firing. So, whatever he's doing... Yeah, I know that he's gonna die. Let me just watch that. So, even Uruk Halberts, which are... Pretty much, technically, their best standard unit. I mean, effective against armored, skills against mounts, reliable in snow. 813. And they get demolished by these archer units. Right now, that's it. Clump up so that I can get a, a severe hit there. There you go. They just don't see where they're going. They only see archers. And fire. There you go. That's times six. Only half the enemy force so remains. that's already half the enemy force, and there's nothing here. There's Morgul chosen even there. Okay. Uruk, Uruk Alberts, Morgul chosen getting destroyed. I think I can kill all of these guys, and then they'll auto fire on these Uruk archers. Yeah, there we go. Killed these guys. And now time to hit the Uruk archers. Let me see. So 100 to 70. 50, 40. Yeah, these are dead. Keep, keep fighting. Even though there's this crappy weather, look at how great my archers are compared to his. I mean, he killed one or two units over there. Or two men there, but... Not as effective. The enemy Amazing. Amazing fight. The victory <laughs> we have won here today. Three men. 766. <laughs> so if I lose three men every time that I fight a, a couple of battles like this, I'm pretty fine. <laughs> and I still haven't gone, you know... I can use a very amazing only archer army, you know, I can use that with giving Prince Legolas to him. But, you know. Time to move into this guy now. Oh good, he's gonna engage with all these guys. Let's go, and what do I have here? Yeah, there we go. So I'm gonna fight this, and we'll fight all of these guys, that's cool. So I just have small token armies to destroy. My uh, Prince Legolas is going to capture Galarin. And in the meantime, we're going to surround Moranon Gate while we concentrate all of our forces and recover, you know, and regroup. Now we're going to have a small challenge here because it's actually we are facing top. There's really not a big a good place where we can put all my troops. Where I can put my troops. I'm always speaking in as we. There we go. It's not like it's bad or all or anything, but I mean There's only eighteen here in Bank? Wow. 
Didn't notice that. I did lose a little bit more than expected. Take that skirmish mode. There we go. That's cool. Okay, hopefully they can cause some casualties so that he'll return. If they don't, it's going to be a bit of a problem. They didn't. Okay. So I have to predict that he's going over there. Okay, he, he does have those units. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these guys here. And I'm going to put these guys here. These guys over here. This guy over here. Everyone runs, and this guy uses swiftness. So let's time six. Now the biggest problem, of course, my men can engage in melee, but I really want to push my. I don't want to push my luck. I want to engage with the archer fire first, and I think I'll be able to just be exactly where I want. That is good. This is a better angle. It's not the best though, but. It is forcing them to engage, so I guess we have done that. Eh, at least in some angles we have a good outcome there. Let's just rip these Urukalbergs. And he's sending some random guards and orc hosts and maulers there, that's nothing some orc archers. Of course his archers are more effective. But so far these albirds are losing so that's the most important unit. I mean the uruk archers they're firing yes but they're not hitting anything that it's suffering so not yet. And now these guys are gonna get hit. Yeah, and there's some Moranian guards and some work maulers and stuff. These guys will route very fast. As soon as they start getting all of the fire or the focus fire because they're close, they're gonna get ripped. Rip, rip. Yeah, now he's issuing a full on attack. They already lost half their men, and he's talking about this token army that just showed up. Okay. So here they go, my archers are attacking those and those. There we go, they're gonna start attacking these. There we go, javelin fire. It's always so nice. Archer fire as well. We're cool. I mean, those orc maulers. Gonna get hit. No, that's, that's gonna be here. There we go. Woodland Horse Archers, you're gonna go over there, I'm gonna need you on the Uruk Archers. Which of course my archers are gonna start hitting, you know. So I am going to lose a little bit more this time. But yeah, these guys are now hitting them, which is cool. Actually, I'm going to tell them to stop, because I kind of want him to regroup a little bit right now. There we go. There we go. There we go, so that my archers can keep hitting these. He's going to regroup, so that I'm going to hit these guys. Yeah. There we go. Let's not push it too long. This is still a, still a battle. And I have plenty of ammunition, so my archers can just demolish these guys. Of course, these are Uruk archers there. Yeah, I should have been hitting them. I thought they would getting auto hit. There we go. Let's move in. Let's move with these guys. These guys, they're gonna hit there. Actually, are they even able to reach? I don't think I 
I am able. Hang on, this minimized, sorry. Just a misclick there. There we go. Hopefully they're going to be able to reach there. If they are not, then it's fine as well. Okay, the best way to stop these arts of fire is just to do this. Keep them moving, or even tell them to attack in melee. That should be important. Now these guys, yeah, they're fighting in melee, but come on, if we continue like this, they know it's we lost. The enemy. Let's just charge the Zuruks home, and that'll do it. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. So it's a different feel when you're fighting uphill, of course. I love the armor on these guys; it's just the so well made. And there we go. Continue the battle. Now it's time for these guys to catch up. Let's just all tell them to attack there. Hopefully no one is gonna start moving out or something like that. Or attacking, I mean, no, 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 just stop. Let's tell them to move. It's better to tell them to move instead of telling them to, to stop firing, you know? Because I cannot issue the command to everyone, so... It's kind of faster. Every just finish those guys. Finish those guys as well. You guys are gonna go here. There we go. I like that a lot. And that is over. Be awed by the victory we have won here today. A good victory, I didn't lose too many units. Some wardens and stuff. But it's okay, it's okay. I can still replenish these guys easily. And they're still a force to be reckoned with. Man, I can only imagine these guy, this army on a bridge battle. They, they would just demolish anything that would show up. They have so many ar arrows as well. The ammunition is so important. Whenever the more archers you have in your army, the more ammunition becomes a, a factor actually. Because you, the only thing that you want is for them to hit everything that they can. Okay, I lost another unit there. Let's fight this guy. Yeah, this is very easy. And then I'm gonna fight the other guys. Well, that'll be on the next turn, of course. In the meantime, my ring bearer is coming in. It's gonna take maybe 15 turns to finish this up. Let's wait. I really don't want this weather. Start deployment. There we go. Take the skirmish off. So now there's only three of these units. It was interesting how they have been very effective so far. The Hini Dower, they immediately are in range. It's just, it's just so interesting to see. They immediately cause casualties. Like, see? They, these guys just cause enough casualties for him to double back and come forward. Which makes a big difference. I cannot tell you how big a difference it is. Okay, so this is a, not a battle. This is just me killing them all with arrows. You know, they're, they're not gonna reach my units. At most they're gonna reach javelin range. And then they're gonna rout. Because I mean, 50% of them are already dead before they enter here. Now that is 75. Yeah, these guys are, are killed already. There we go. So I don't even need to pursue or anything. This is just Archer Fire killing them all. Yeah, that army is not gonna survive, so that's okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, 
catch up to them. Yeah, the Archer Fire is going to do that, and when it doesn't, this is a clear victory. we clear them. I lost a guy. Probably self uh, arrowed. <laughs> no, he was just, I'm tired of this, I cannot take it any longer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so of course Mortar is going to attack King Thranduil. But, um, so far I'm feeling really cool. I mean, I can take Moranon fairly easy. Uh, no matter what he does there. I don't need to take on that guy, which is also interesting. I'm just sending these guys down. This guy cannot attack. That's, that's cool. That's cool. And this guy is going to take a couple of turns there, but it's okay. Then here, reinforce King Thranduil. So everything seems to be very fine. I don't know how many more armies Mortar is going to send, but so far I'm not surprised. There we go. This was to be expected, of course, this big battle. I'm just going to quick save before the battle, because I'm pretty sure that it might cause some troubles. He does have two units of Olakai, which are the, the target. Um, so that's my focus. But still, I'm going to save Leash. Yeah, I know that it exists. Because sometimes these battles just crash, you know, and I really don't want that. Now, I've been having my uh, Javelin units uh, at the front. Right now, I don't have as many, so I'm just going to put all the infantry at the front. It's going to be a different battle in that regard. I'm just... Since I am defending, I just hope for a good spot, and this is a very good spot. I'm actually going to put them here on this side, so that I can engage a unit of Alakai um, in a different matter, I would say. Okay, these are the infantry units. This way I can engage one unit of Alakai at a time. There we go. I know that he, it's a big army, so he'll probably have something interesting there. These guys, I want them to guard mode. These guys take over the shift mode. So how do I want... I want the Yiri Bang defending, or actually in the middle? In the middle. I want to have the Woodland Sentinels on the side. Yeah, it's, it's better that way. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Actually, you can go deep ranks, much better. Now I'm going to take these guys away so that you disable all skirmish mode. Cavalry, you're going to be here. No missile. Yeah, there we go. See, this is what I want. I just want to be able to hit those Olakai. There we go. You see those other Olakai there? It's not a big deal. There we go. Yep. The good thing is that, of course, they're hitting the Olakai, but they're also hitting everything that is in between. So that helps a lot, actually. You see those Ola other Olakai coming in. But these are more than ready units for that. I want to... I want to say that I want to take these guys out. With some arrows, I guess. So I'm going to take that out. There we go, just to give them a treat there. Yeah, that's still 12 Olagai. They're very heavily armored, so that's why it takes this. Uh, I'm counting on some of these javelins just to finish them out. In my 
these guys are very good at uh, sniping those a la Kai, but you can see that there are already 10 of them. They're not going to survive this these shots for too long. I really need to kill them as fast as it is possible because without that it's it's a bit it becomes a bit of a problem the more these guys survive you know javelins are gonna hit them which is awesome it may seem that they are not doing too much but they do look at that they just take away hordes and hordes of them okay now you can actually I guess stop your fire and auto fire again these all guy are now dying the battle is very much in our favor victory will be ours there we go. So I really need some shots off on these guys. There we go. There we go. These Woodland Wardens and other units, they're gonna have to take care of them. Ulakai are gonna be a problem there. Elbereth guards, let's take care of these orc hosts. I know that there's some Uruks here, but I'm just going to send these guys to their backs. You see that the Elder Council is not as effective there. As soon as these Oleg High units are dead, we're going to have no problems. These Elbereth guards, they're really not the best to hit that. And he's starting to take uh, my own missile troops there. So here's how I'm going to do. Yeah, there we go. Some of my archers are now hitting these guys. Like, you can see that most of them are engaged in melee. Which is never a good thing. No, no. I just want to cause some commotion here to cause them to flee. There's no general, by the way. So, if I can cause these guys to rout, perhaps... You know, if I can throw them away... If I can perhaps throw them away, you know... That would clear up. You know, if I can get some units routing... That would be interesting. There we go. Actually, take away that guard mode now. Yeah, so th this charge is not causing the targets that I wanted. Which is a little bit of a problem. I just need someone to route. There we go. That should focus that on. Let's hit their middle and see if I can cause that. There we go. Archers. Let's just go back. There we go. These Uruks, they're dying there. There we go. Yeah, I know that these guys are not able to fight the Alakai now. I thought the the Elver, Elbereth guards would be nice. Seems like they are not. So, as, it ca as I can tell you, the Alakai are the dangerous units. There we go. Mayfear, let's attack here. Let's get that away. Elbereth guards, let's attack over there. I don't care about these orc bands and halberds. They're not doing too much. But yeah, I'm losing many more units than I was expecting here. There we go. Let's hit those all luck high. Really need to kill these guys as as fast as possible. Especially, come on. Yeah, there we go. Losing most of these best units though, which is not a good thing. There we go. Cavalry units. Let's go here. Lost 37%. Look at that. This Olagai unit. This is the problem. If it wasn't these units, we would be just fine. Look at that. They're now charging some woodland sentinels. Yeah. 
Since they are charging some woodland sentinels, I'm going to send these all these my through there. Actually, let's send these guys there. Watch a fire. Actually, these guys. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory Stop your fire and auto fire again. There we go. Let's position these guys here. These are just holding up these Alberts. And these are just, come on, let's just uh, tell them to hit the units uh, of the units. So, two of them gonna hit those. Let's hit these Alberts. Those Sarums will, are gonna die. Elbereth guards, let's attack here, actually. Let's see if I can finish off that Sarum's will. They're not routing. Okay, so you're gonna hit these. Yeah, this is all because of those Olak hide, like I told you. Could have done a better work here. Um, I did thought that my Elbereth guards would hold up a little bit while longer against those uh, other units. I guess they didn't. Okay, my archer units can now do some damage, so that should be that should be nice. Still have some units here and there. Of course, these Uruk archers they're causing damage, but yeah, I mean over here these guys they just fight for so long. Look at there! Finally, my archers have a plain view of the enemy. Let's attack these Uruk Halberts. I, I don't think so. I'm gonna attack there. Okay, let's let's all hit the same target, shall we? There we go. Let's all hit those targets. These are Uruk hosts and some Uruks. It's pretty fine. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. There we are. Like these Uruk Halberds are dying because, well, these units are just too good. These guys are pursuing whatever is over there. Forty-six percent, I guess. I underestimated these guys. Overestimated, I guess. Okay, these guys are now fleeing, so I can attack here. Archer units are attacking these Uruk Halberds. I am tell them to attack the Uruk archers now. That is the problem, is because my archers have been doing most of the damage. But they're still under threat from their archers, so I mean it's a bit of a problem there. There's some Uruk Halberds here, so not a big deal. Hopefully I'm gonna get amazing casualties recovered. There we go. Actually, you're the one catching up to this. You didn't notice. There we go. Now, archers, thank you. You're gonna hit those Uruk archers. Finally. Run! Cavalry units, they're pursuing those guys. It's cool. Okay, no need to pursue those guys anymore. There we go. So not the big, the best outcome here. I could use some money, but I do note that, uh, I mean, for instance, I'm not... Um, I'm not struggling let's say for money in this point I can uh, assume because I'm losing so many units here I can actually um, I will of course avoid a lot of the the issues with the upkeep so this should be just fine okay these guys are probably gonna die just with the archer fire so I'm not gonna even move there we go 
It just left. What is going on over there? Is there anything here that it's worth going for? Nope. There we go. And I can do this. So 613. That was a... That was a problem. I did get a lot of Elberth Gods and Maethiers, so I'm gonna have to join in with the forces that I'm reinforcing. Not the best outcome, but also not the worst, I would say, you know. Um, still glad, still glad, but I was hoping hoping this could, um, could have been easier, you know. I thought one unit of Olagai would die and then the other one wouldn't. Uh, but I guess it was not meant to be. So that will be it for this episode. I'm going to join in with the, with the other forces from Legolas to make sure that this guy can keep going. Uh, Legolas is going to wait for a couple of reinforcements before pushing in. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye. See you guys.